Good morning and welcome to Jobic TV News. I'm Gail Fasahi with your top stories. Gordon Mabuza to give an update on load shedding crisis. Ndobe to make court appearance over Magaka murder. And death toll in Mozambique cyclone floods could surpass 1,000. Public Enterprises Minister Pravin Gordon and ESCOM board chairperson Jabu Mabuza will this morning brief the media on the current electricity supply problems that the country is currently experiencing. The briefing will take place in Rosebank and ESCOM says it will continue to implement Stage 4 load shedding as large parts of the country is currently experiencing Stage 2 until 9 o'clock this morning. From 9 a.m. until 11 p.m., Stage 4 load shedding will start. The power utility has capacity shortages. It has suffered repeated falls at its coal-fired power stations along with low water levels at hydroelectric plants and diesel shortages. Mnelek Ndobe is set to appear in the Mzimkulu Magistrates Court today over the murder of former ANC Youth League Secretary General Sindiso Magata. The Heriguala District Municipality Mayor and KwaZulu Natal ANC heavyweight is in police custody along with four others accused after they were arrested during the weekend in connection with Magata's 2017 murder. Political killings have become synonymous with the ANC in KwaZulu Natal. In 2016, at the height of political assassinations in the province, Ndobe stated that any member or leader of the ANC who is involved in political killings will be treated as a criminal and will be dismissed from the party with immediate effect. The ANC in KZN says if charged, it will have no choice but to remove Ndobe from its province to province list ahead of the elections. The Mozambican President Felipe Nyusi said the number of people killed in a powerful storm and preceding floods in Mozambique could exceed 1,000, putting the potential death toll greatly more than current figures. 84 deaths have been confirmed so far in Mozambique as a result of Cyclone Idai, which has also left a trail of death and destruction across Zimbabwe and Malawi with vast areas of land flooded, roads destroyed and communication wiped out. The cyclone has also killed 98 people and more than 200 are missing in Zimbabwe. Government said yesterday while the death toll in Malawi from heavy rains and flooding stood at 56 as of last week. No new numbers have been released following the cyclone's arrival in the country. Now time for your sports updates with Ayanda Vezi. Thank you, Gail. I'm Ayanda Vezi and here are your job TV sports headlines. Ronaldo to be charged by UEFA, Tandani Chumayelo has found a team, Proteas prepare for the T20 series after a great ODI. Catch Tatuaz Mjali with your full bulletin at midday. Back to you, Gay. Over to your traffic and weather updates. Thank you, Gail. Welcome to Jobic TV Traffic Updates. The Stage 2 load shedding, which was implemented this past Friday, has moved to Stage 4, causing traffic lights to not operate at multiple junctions in Parktown, Rosebank, and surrounding suburbs until 12.30. Motorists are urged to be on the lookout. Sunning Hill on the N1 Road, there is a police checkpoint, which results in queuing traffic to Rivonia Road exit. Also, Clayville at Oliphant Dane Road, traffic lights are not working at Main Road, causing heavy traffic traveling west. Looking at your weather today, Johannesburg is sunny at 28 degrees Celsius. Those who are traveling to Pretoria, the weather is also sunny at 30 degrees Celsius. Madrand at 28 degrees Celsius, Soweto at 28 degrees Celsius. That is it for our traffic and weather updates. Back to you, Gail. And that's it from the team and I. Catch your next bulletin at midday. Goodbye.